Unitrust Guide Series 4 How to Select a Good Fund Last few weeks ago, I have gone through the Unitrust Fund screening process. If you have missed the video, do check it out on the above. Hi, I'm Eva Wong here, your wealth coach to achieve early retirement. If you wish to learn how to become financial savvy and to retire early, remember to subscribe to this channel here. Through the previous video, you know how to get some funds for you to do some reviews. But which fund should you invest in? These are the following steps you can check to ensure the funds are good to invest. First, you need to check the performance of the fund. After you have screened through the funds, you should have a list of funds to start the review. Click on the fund that you wish to review. Let's use this 5-star fund which is Principal Asia Pacific Dynamic Income Fund. After you click the fund tab, the first thing you will see is the performance of the fund in terms of return and distribution. From this page, you will know how much money you will get if you invest 10,000 in this fund. The blue color line shows the return of the fund. Red color is the return of the index, while the yellow color line shows the return of the similar category of fund. As you can see here, if you have invested 10,000 since the inception of the fund, you will have roughly 29,000 by now. If you have invested 10,000 in the index, you will get roughly about 25K. If you invested in other similar funds, you get only about 16K. Looking at this chart, you can see that this fund is performing better than other funds, including the index. If you click the distribution tab, you will see the fund income. Distributions consist of net capital gains made from the profitable sale of portfolio assets together with the dividend income and interest earned by those assets. This is important for retiree as this is how the investors get income when investing in unit trust funds. As you can see here, this fund has consistent distribution history as well. It has four times distributions in the year of 2020 and four times distribution in 2021. It shows that the income is 0.17 cent, which is 0.68% of the distribution of NAV per unit on 21st of January 2022. If the income is important for you, you got to check this area too. Secondly, we need to look at the risk. We all know that investment comes with risk, but we want to invest with lesser risk. So we can check the risk element of the fund under the risk tab. You can evaluate the risk for the past 3 years, past 5 years, or even past 10 years. The first thing you can look at is how much is the risk of this fund compared to other similar category funds. For this fund, it is average. How about the return compared to the other similar category funds? You can see the return is above average for the past 3 years. However, if you choose different time frame like past 10 years, you will see the return is high. The important chart you need to look at is the risk versus reward chart. You can look at the risk and reward analysis chart. You want to find funds that can have higher return compared to the risk. The benchmark is always the index. You can see that the index is sitting in the middle. We want to invest in funds which the return can go beyond the index and yet having lesser or the same risk as the index. The other simple way to check the risk-adjusted return is from the risk and volatility measure table. You can check the alpha. Alpha is a term used in investing to describe an investment strategy's ability to beat the market. Alpha is also often referred to as excess return for the risk taken. For example, this fund has the alpha of 1.71 which is higher than its category fund and index. This is a way to ensure you invest in the fund with lesser risk compared to others. Last thing, I will also check the fund manager under the people tab. We need to ensure the consistency of return is due to the same group of people. There is no recent change of the fund manager for this fund at least the leader. This will give me confidence that the fund can continue to perform at the same rate as previously. Of course, when we compare funds, we need to make sure the funds are within the same category. You cannot compare a fixed income fund performance with an equity-based fund. The equity fund will definitely have higher risk profile than a fixed income fund. Ensure the fund you are selecting is matching with your risk profile and your investment objective. If you have doubt on that, please check the above to watch the previous video on that.
That's all for my sharing this time. Thank you for watching this video and I do hope that you like it. Comment below. What have you learned from this video? Share with others. Do subscribe to my channel for more early retirement tips and I hope to see you again. Bye!